Reporter Darla Miles just spoke with the attorney for the victim's family, and she's live for us now on the Upper East Side. Darla? Diana Polanco's mother is so upset right now. She can't even talk, according to the family attorney. He says she's considering what her next steps are legally at this point, and that may even include uh, asking the Department of Justice for an independent investigation. Now, a Queens grand jury met five, nine times over the last five weeks and did not indict Detective Hassan Hamdi in the death of Noel Polanco. Hamdi is a veteran with the Emergency Services Unit at the NYPD. Now, Polanco was driving home on the Grand Central Parkway in October of last year when he was pulled over. Hamney told the grand jury he feared for his life because Polanco didn't keep his hands on the steering wheel, so he opened fire. Polanco was a 22-year-old 22 year who was a National Guardsman, and he was promoted to sergeant after his death. His family is destroyed. Uh, this has been a, a uh, horrible tragedy for his family to deal with. And now it's almost like his mom uh, had the tragedy of it happening and now the tragedy of the grand jury failing to indict this police officer as well. Now, Queens District Attorney Richard Brown issued a statement after the grand jury's decision. He said, while I understand that some would want me to provide the factual and legal basis for the grand jury's decision, I am pre precluded from doing so by the statutory provisions regarding grand jury secrecy. Secrecy. He also goes on to say that Mr. Polanco's death remains a tragedy, and again, he expressed his sympathy for the Polanco family. Reporting live on the Upper East Side, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.